So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We were asked to determine the sum of the given radical expressions. In order to add radical expressions, we must have like radicals, like radicals are radicals, in which a radical part is exactly the same, which means like radicals have the same index and the same radicand. However, before we identify the like radicals, we must first simplify each radical completely. So for number one, we have two square root 18 plus square root 50. The first step is to simplify the square root of 18 and the square root of 50. To do this, we need to identify any perfect square factors of 18 and 50. We will do this by looking at the prime factorization of 18 and 50. So this is equal to two times the square root of, the prime factorization of 18 is two times three times three. Notice how this shows 18 contains the perfect square factor of three times three or three squared. And then we have plus the square root of the prime factorization of 50 is two times five times five. Notice this shows us that 50 contains the perfect square factor of five times five or five squared. Let's write this one more time using exponents before we simplify the square roots. This is equal to two times the square root of two times three squared plus the square root of two times five squared. And now we'll simplify the square roots. The square root of three squared simplifies to one factor of three. And because we already have a two here, we multiply the two and the three. Two times three is equal to six. This simplifies to six square root two plus the square root of five squared simplifies to one factor of five. This simplifies to plus five square root two. Now that we've simplified both square roots, notice how we do have alike radicals because both terms contain the square root of two. Or more formally, these are like radicals because both have an index of two and a radicand of two. And we add like radicals, just like we add like terms, treating the radical, or in this case the square root, as if it was a variable. So six square root two plus five square root two equals 11 square root two. We added the six and the five to get 11, and the square root two remained the same. For number two, we have x times the cube root of x squared y to the fifth plus y times the cube root of x to the fifth y squared. The first step is to simplify both cube roots. Because we have a cube root, or because the index is three, we're looking for groups of three equal factors of the radicand. So for this first radical, we have x times the cube root. x squared does not contain any perfect cube factor, so we have x squared. But y to the fifth does have a perfect cube factor of y to the third. Let's write y to the fifth as y to the third times y squared. And then we have plus y times the cube root of x to the fifth y squared. Because we're looking for perfect cube factors, Let's write x to the fifth as x to the third times x squared, and we still have times y squared. Again, because we're looking for perfect cube factors, let's go ahead and circle the perfect cubes under the radicals. So y cubed is a perfect cube, and so is x cubed. And now let's simplify. The cube root of y cubed is equal to one factor of y. Because we already have an x here, we multiply the x and the y, which gives us xy times the cube root of x squared y squared plus the cube root of x cubed is equal to one factor of x. And because we already have a y here, we multiply the x and the y giving us xy times the cube root of x squared y squared. Now that we've simplified, notice how we do have two like radicals 
because the radical part is exactly the same, meaning both indexes are equal to three, and both radicands are x squared, y squared. So we can determine the sum. To determine the sum, we have the expressions in front of the cube roots, xy plus xy is equal to two xy, and therefore the sum is equal to two xy times the cube root of x squared, y squared. So notice how to determine the sum. We added xy and xy to get two xy, and the radical part, or the cube root of x squared, y squared, remained exactly the same. I hope you found this helpful.